we just got married and we learned the cold hard truth about how much a wedding really costs. The first thing that we spent money on was our marriage certificate. That cost us $126. Okay, so the next thing we had to get was a turbine tire. So that was $150. The Mandy, $1,016. A photo booth for our reception, $714. Hair and makeup costs for my wedding day, $805, which I feel like is really good. The old players, mm -hmm. like an Indian drum, $1,200. Wedding bands. We got hooked up, 1500 bucks. Love them. The dance floor. Two dance floors wrapped, $2,600. I thought it was less than that. Our outfits. Three of Jazz's outfits and two of my outfits. $5,847. Wedding planner. $6,000. Next is our DJ. Dope DJ. $6,240 for two events. Lighting. I loved our lighting. $8,000. $100. We're moving on to the Lady Sangi. That cost us $12,021.79. Photo and video. We got hooked up with photo and video. $16,129.50. Decor. I had a very hard time with decor. $16,678. Catering was $19,220. All right, our wedding venue. $59,868.93. There were a lot of random expenses. I'm gonna say it was like $2,500, honestly, probably way more. Altogether, $160,718.10 is our total. I know weddings have always been expensive, but I didn't know it was this expensive. Sheesh. Another reason weddings are expensive nowadays is because of social media and this generation wanting to do the most to showcase the most. I promise a wedding can cost under $20,000 with an open bar. Shit, it can cost $200 if you just stroll to the courthouse and spend the rest on a nice vacation or a house. Half of the things they listed they could have done without. At no point should anyone pay close to $60,000 just for a wedding venue, $8,000 for some lights, and $16,000 for decor. Like, that's really insane when you think about it. But hey, maybe they got it like that. They better stick together like glue, though. I think this is an Indian wedding, which is already exponentially more than a regular wedding. So I guess the cost is justified. The wedding industry blows my mind, no doubt. But this damn sure shouldn't be the metric to prove it. I don't know what kind of money they got, but I know the spending limits on my card, and my money is not high enough to afford this. Congrats to the newlywed. I'm sure they had a blast. To everyone out there who wants to get married, cut your coat according to your size and spend it within your means because remember, there is life after your wedding day. But hey, who cares what I gotta say? Let me know what you think in the comments down below.